Hey guys, so it is Thursday, and um, we're still talking about lines of symmetry, and today is going to be a really easy, simple, maybe fun task for you. Um, you're going to be able, you're going to be um, able to find examples of symmetry in the world around you. So what your first um, thing is you're going to do is I want you to look at all these pictures and I want you to notice any lines of symmetry that you see in these pictures. Like for instance here, this dartboard, um, you can definitely, definitely make lines of symmetry here um, because there's a circle. A circle has an infinite number of symmetry lines. This sign, okay, the street sign looks like a triangle and it looks like we can probably um, have at least one or two lines of symmetry here just by what we know and what we remember. This snowflake, there's definitely at least two lines of symmetry here, okay, we can go um, vertical and horizontal. Um, the butterfly, we can definitely make a vertical line of symmetry. Um, so just kind of looking at what's around us in the world, um, thinking about lines of symmetry with actual things in our life. Did you know what a botanist does? How might symmetry play into the role of a botanist? So this is an interesting fun fact. A botanist is the study of a botany, which is the study of plants. Botanists who study plants, they work outside and they explore all kinds of plants like flowers and um, trees and bushes and all those cool things. So symmetry would be really important for them, right? Because um, they would be looking at all the different kinds of flowers and plants and um, they can kind of determine that when they're doing their jobs. Everywhere in the plant world, there's patterns and these patterns organize themselves around symmetry. So um, when a figure mirrors itself, we say that an object has symmetry. When those two sides are the same, this is a symmetrical flower. Um, you can turn the flower in any direction and the flower looks exactly the same in um, any direction that you put it in. So next time you guys are kind of walking around and looking at flowers or you have a garden or you're looking at a garden or if you see this really cool flower, maybe stop and take a look at it. Check it out. See if it has symmetrical um, parts. Like, you know, check out both sides and see if it looks anything like this. So for today, um, what you're going to do, you can um, do this on paper or I will um, post a document that you can type into. So you're going to type in um, five different things in your life that have lines of symmetry that you see. And then you're going to type or write five more things that do not have a line of symmetry. So, you know, go outside, walk around your house. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be things with circles, right? It can be rectangles. It can be triangles. It can be squares. All right. Remember, um, lines of symmetry. Okay. Um, if you can find something that has one or more line of symmetry, you write it down here. Like say if you have, say if you find a flower outside, you can definitely write that in. Um, if you have a fan like that blows cool air, that has a line of symmetry. So um, finding some things at home that have lines of symmetry, write them or type them in. And then if you find something that doesn't have a line of symmetry, like when you put your line of symmetry there and there's no mirror image, um, put it here. Okay. So five with the lines of symmetry, five with no lines. Again, you can write this down on paper, send it to me, or you can fill this out in the document that I will put in the assignment for you. And that's it. So that is all you're doing today. Um, kind of taking what you know from what we've learned this week and going out and applying it to um, what's actually around you.